Hey guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today I'm sharing my 2019 home summer tour, so let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start off inside and then I have a lot of requests to see the outside of our house, so I'll show you the front and the back at the end of today's video. But this is our front door, so when you walk straight in, we don't have an entry. So this is kind of just what I created here. I don't think this has really changed since the last home tour. I think this is my fourth one, so you can definitely head on back. Every time we do a home tour, the house looks completely different. I like change, and we've done a lot of painting, so you can definitely go back and watch those. Um, I'll take you in here. My sofa, we always get lots of questions about. It's from Ashley Furniture, and we absolutely love it. It's super comfortable. All the pillows are from Ross. And then um, in my videos, I always get a lot of questions about our coffee table. I actually found this on a Facebook marketplace for 35 bucks. And I want to say it was like a really light gray when we bought it, but we went ahead and painted this cadet and it's from um, Sherman Williams. And that's also what my island is, which I'll show you here in a little bit. So this is our living room over here. We also have a chair. Um, this, I have two of these. I stole one from the other room, but I found this at a garage sale for $25. So this was a good deal. Both of the pillows are from Ross. And then this lamp I brought in from Home Goods. Um, we're adding gold touches into our house. So that's what's different from the last home tour that you guys saw. And so I just thought that this was beautiful. And like I said, we picked that up from Home Goods. Normally I take you to that side of the house, but I thought I would change it up. And let's go this way first. Okay, we're gonna head in here. This is my beauty room slash office. So this is where I work. This is where I get ready. Um, this has changed from the last time. This room was actually where my daughter's room is on the other side of the hall. So we just flip flops. We have a whole video showing that if you guys wanna check that out on my channel. But this is my closet and I always, always, always get asked why I took the doors off or why I don't add doors. It actually had doors that we removed, but I like seeing my clothes um, since it is a beauty room. If this was like my bedroom, I obviously wouldn't do that, but I think it adds a fun element and it helps me to keep it organized. If there was doors, I'd be more likely to like cram things in. So I think it's fun just to have everything on display. And then over here is my vanity section and this is where I get ready. That's all my jewelry. Um, I do flip flop the chairs a lot because um, this is my desk chair, but I kind of like getting ready with it. And then this clear one has just been better on my back and shoulders when editing, or this is also a stand up desk. So a lot of the time I just stand here and edit. Um, so that's why that chair is here. And then this um, bedroom actually has its own attached bathroom. So like I said, I get showered and everything's all in this room. I think it's the perfect setup for us. And then one other thing I always get asked about is this dress. Her name is Pearl. We actually did a whole thing on Instagram one day and named her and everybody named her Pearl. Yes, it is my original wedding dress. And no, I'm not worried if she's gonna turn yellow. <laughs> I get that comment so much. I rather enjoy her every day and get to see her than her stay white and be in a box underneath the bed that I don't see. So I absolutely love her being out in here. Now I'll take you into my laundry room. It's a laundry room. There's nothing that special about it. I did recently add the photos, the family pictures, and I love having that in here. Ladies, you know, we're always in our laundry rooms. And I just think it's a fun touch that I get to look at them while I'm in there doing the laundry. And then you can see all of our different organizers we have and my vacuum hanging on the wall. And that really just keeps clutter off the ground. And then that's my daughter's hamper. She doesn't like it in her bedroom. So we just keep it in there. And then I'll take you on into our master bedroom. Um, lots of questions in here. Our headboard is from Amazon and I'll have that link down below my Amazon store. Anything that I can find, I will have in there. So definitely check that link first and anything that I can just link, I'll put down there in the description box. Um, this comforter is from Zulily. I absolutely love it. Um, it comes and goes, so if it's still available um, when this video goes up, I'll put that down in my description box. And then my lamps are from Ross, 
And then the side tables I recently found off Facebook Marketplace again for 25 bucks each. I love them. They're like the perfect size, the perfect style. I love that they had a drawer. Um, I also have another wreath. Um, I picked those up off Amazon or Home Goods. And then my curtains are from Target. And then back here is just our master bathroom. This is mainly where Chase gets ready. I don't come in here very much. I think I brush my teeth at night, but it's a pretty simple bathroom. Nothing too special, but it works for us. And then I'm gonna take you on back right here. Chase gets our master closet since I have the whole bedroom back there in that closet. So this is the master closet, but he fills it up just fine because he likes clothes. And then I have a hanger rule. I won't buy more hangers and I want all my hangers to match, which he doesn't live by that rule. <laughs> if he wants it, he has it. So he's got that full in there. And then this dresser, we seem to get a lot of questions about too. I bought this off Craigslist for, I wanna say it was either 25 or $35. And it came painted this way. It came with the knobs. I thought it was a steal. So you can definitely decorate your house on a budget. I've been doing it my entire life. You do have to search. I always get a lot of comments like, I don't find stuff like that in my area. You do, but the early bird gets the worm. So you constantly have to be checking so that you find the good deals because when something like this posts, it goes like that, like it goes in seconds. So you definitely have to be on there. Now we'll head this way and I'm gonna take you on to the other side of the house. Our first stop right here is our guest bathroom slash Savannah's bathroom. So basically this whole side of the house is hers. So that's the bathroom that she uses to get ready in. Like I said, it is the guest bathroom, but we don't have that many guests. And that life that you guys saw up there, um, I wanted to redo those. I found that at a flea market, brand new, and we put them in all of our bathrooms, but they're gorgeous. So once again, it's amazing what you can find at like hot sales, flea markets, thrift stores. This is my daughter's bedroom, and the last time you guys probably saw it, it had JoJo in it, but for some reason she likes change and she likes to redecorate. I have no idea where she gets it from. <laughs> now, she has used this before, so as she changes in and out, if I know she still likes this, I just keep it so that when she wants to flip back, she can do it. So this is on Amazon as well, so I have that link down in my store. The blanket is from Walmart, Pillows, Ross, a really sweet subscriber sent her this lamp. We always get questions where we got it because their daughters want it, but it was just from a sweet subscriber that sent it. Um, all my curtains are, like these are from Amazon and I love them. They like block out the light. I don't know if you guys can tell that. It hides the light really well. I get the super tall ones. They're very affordable. Um, they're the same color on both sides. So sometimes they have like that ugly white lining. So I try to always get those because they're nice and pretty. They come in all different colors. I have them in light gray, dark gray, white, pink, plus there's about a million others. Um, this is her dresser. I haven't had time to paint her knob. So as she changes her bedroom theme, I just always take these off and spray paint them. So it was purple, but now I'll spray them like a teal aqua color. And we got this piece off Craigslist, I want to say for like 45 and it was painted like rainbow theme at the time, which we kept for years, but we recently painted it gray, and that's actually in a video when I redo Savannah's bedroom, if you guys want to check that out. Now we're going to head over into her playroom. Now this used to be, this used to be a lot of things. <laughs> when we first moved in, this was her homeschool room, but we learned very quickly that she just wasn't using it that much. She likes to do homeschool like out in the living room and different places. So we went ahead and switched this to our guest bedroom and then we learned real quickly it wasn't getting used but once or twice a year. So we switched it into her playroom and it has been perfect. It gets used so much more all the time. It is my least favorite room as far as decorating. Like I still have a lot to do. This is her closet right here and basically it's all American Girl doll accessories and she basically has room. So this is like the bathroom, the office, the living room and the bedroom. I think it's so cute. She totally set that up all on her own. Um, and then over here, this is the matching chair to my living room. So I think this will probably be a future video, but I want to like redo this room just a little bit and add like maybe a sofa in here or hide a bed. 
something where maybe people can stay. I don't know. This room needs a little loving and I just haven't made it in here. It's perfect for what she's using, but I would like to, I don't know, just make it a little bit nicer, but it definitely hasn't been on the list, but it's kind of rising. So this is her playroom. And now I'll take you into our kitchen. So this is like the biggest change since the last um, home tour. We had this painted. We absolutely love the color. It made me kind of branch out and it's a gray, but it has a hint of blue in it. And it's just added so much warmth to our house. And as soon as I saw this, I really started wanting to add golds in the house. I've always loved gold, but I didn't know if I could pull it off. Well, once I saw this color, we did. So I did a lot of spray painting things, a lot of DIY. We um, spray painted this light ourselves. It used to be silver. Well, it used to be bronze. And then I spray painted it silver. And then I spray painted it gold. So there's a whole video and it's called adding gold into our house. So you can definitely check that out just to see cheap ways to decorate. I'm all about decorating on a budget and it's very easy to do. Um, I don't know if there's much other change in here. Oh, we've added new hardware. So I added the crystal knobs on the top and then I added gold handles on the bottom, which I am loving those. I feel like that's such an easy home upgrade that anybody can do. If you're just wanting your house to stand out or if it's on the market for sale, definitely change out your hardware. It makes a huge difference. Um, my favorite piece in here is this gold faucet. I absolutely love it. It makes such a statement. Um, I wish I would have done that sooner. Some of the questions I get in here a lot during cleaning videos is this tray. And it's just from Ross and it was in the makeup section and I picked that up. And then I also get questions about this stand. It is just a dollar from the Target dollar spot and it's a cupcake stand. And then I take my Dollar Tree sponges and cut them in half and it fits perfectly on it. It's just a nice little touch. Um, over here, I get about a million questions a day about this thing. <laughs> so these are from Kirkland's. I don't even know if they sell them anymore, but this tray I get asked about and it came as a three tiered serving set. So it has three different sizes. I have it linked to my Amazon store. I know it's a little pricey in there. I think originally it came from a Sam. So you can definitely check those out like during Christmas when they're selling things, but tons and tons of questions about that. Let me make sure I covered everything in here. Um, let's head on over here into my dining room. This thing gets changed all the time and it's mainly the same pieces, but I like to like rotate our table. So currently it's this way. Um, I've added this in, this used to be in my beauty room. Um, at one point this was a coffee bar, which it's been switched, but I don't know. I just like the table being this way and we can look out while we're eating. Um, I always get questions about these. We found these at a flea market off the side of the road, but I did find some on Amazon. So I have those linked. The sign is from Hobby Lobby. The table's from Ross. The mirror's from Burlington Co. Factory. My shutters always get comments. They were from a flea market. And everybody says this is like the one thing in my house that doesn't get changed. I think it's because it's too heavy <laughs> and I don't know what to do with it. So those definitely stay there. Um, the table table always get tons of questions my dad actually made this table so i can't link it but i always get asked can i link the table the chairs are from tj maxx and i want to say they were like 50 bucks i thought it was a really good deal the rug is from ross but i have one almost just like it in my store on amazon and then my signs i love this one says love our family of three it's from Three Mango Seeds. I'll leave her link down below, but she's on Etsy and Instagram and she's local to my area, but she custom makes signs and she ships anywhere. So definitely check her out. I love, love, love those. Um, these are more sheer curtains. I found these at Ross and I'm gonna say they're like $12.99. If you guys ever need like inexpensive curtains, Ross is definitely the way to go. And then the other thing I get asked a lot about is this guy. <laughs> it took me forever to find the perfect piece for this so we could kind of have a little bit of privacy. And it's actually from Ikea and we love it. So I wanna say it was about 15 bucks. But that is my home tour. That's what our house looks like. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the description box or down below that. Now I'm gonna take you guys outside so you can see what like the front porch looks like and the back patio. So let's head out. Thank you. 
Okay, here is the outside of our house. Since we moved in, we painted the brick. So there's a whole video on that as well if you guys are interested. But we love, love, love the painted white brick. It was like an orangey red color when we moved in. Now we haven't touched the garage or this peak up here. It's kind of debate what we're going to do. So we haven't done it yet. We did add this hardware to our garage door and it's so cool. It's actually magnetic, which I didn't know that's how it was. So if you guys are looking for just a fun detail to add to your house that's in my Amazon store and it's super duper affordable and then the other thing we did is we painted our shutters black over here and I think it just makes a fun pop of color especially since like my pillows are the buffalo plaid and we're trying to hang on to this guy we're having a hard time finding something here that won't like die and it's kind of starting to but I just I don't know this part of my house is the favorite part and then here's our porch I always get a lot of questions about this guy. It is a nightstand, but I just make it, I think it makes it feel so homey. And then um, the plant is from Ross. The chairs I picked up for 15 bucks total from a friend she was selling them. And then these are just pillow covers that I picked up off Amazon and I have those in my store. Over here, the um, buffalo plaid is from Hobby Lobby and then this little mat was $5.99 from Ross. Super good deal and it's like rubber so it cleans up really well. And then we added all of these lights to our house. I love them. I actually found those at Walmart and they were a great deal. If I can find those and link them, I'll add them. We love our front door. And then this is a welcome sign. It's the same three mango seeds that I talked about earlier. She has some awesome, awesome signs. So definitely check her out. Now I'm going to take you to the back so you can see what that looks like. Okay, now this is the view of our backyard. I'm standing on our patio. We are very lucky we live on an acre, so we have like nice spaces, a nice room. Um, this is our pool. We only put it up during the summertime, but Savannah loves it and spends many, many hours back there. Our neighbor actually has one, and then our neighbor back here has one because we love them so much. So we absolutely love our backyard. We have a fire pit back here. And then this is Chase's shed where he keeps all like the mowing equipment and all that. So this is our lot. And now I'll show you the patio. Okay, so this is me standing in the yard with the back of our house looks like. So we have septic because we're way far out. Um, this guy I just got off Amazon, so that's in my store, and it's great, great storage. I love that it was gray, too. We have towel hooks up here because Savannah swims, so we just thought that was the perfect little spot for it. And then this is what our patio looks like. We haven't decided if we're going to paint it white. I kind of like... Um, you know, having a little bit of contrast back here, it's kind of nice. So we haven't painted that yet. Our whole patio set we just picked up this um, summer, or it was actually spring, from Walmart. Love, love, love this set. We got a steal on it because they were selling out of them. So if you guys can get them, like the actual floor model, like the one in Walmart, you'll get a special deal on it. But I will link this in my description box down below if you guys want to check it out. This guy was from Big Lots and I got it on clearance for like three or four dollars and then I added the greenery from Hobby Lobby. And then we like having a sound bar out here because we spent a lot of time out here. Another one of those lights. And then this is to keep a wasp away. It's just a brown paper bag and you put like three or four Walmart sacks in it and then hang it and it helps keep them away. So we've got that there. This is my kitchen window, so that's my sink. You can kind of see my gold faucet right there. So I love doing dishes while everybody's out here because I can watch them. And then the pillows are from Ross. This mat is from Ross. And then over here is for the pool. It's been raining, so I need to clear that out. But the girls come up, clean their feet off, step up here before they go in just to save the house from getting dirty. But this is what the back porch looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my home tour. Like I said, there's always something different from the every time because I like change, I like rearranging, and I always have videos of us changing that throughout the year. So definitely go out and check those out. I do finance videos, cleaning videos, day in the lives, how to fashion. So if you're new, I would love for you to subscribe and join my family here. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today I'm sharing my 20... God! <laughs> I'm going to tag my floss up here. Can you see?
see that? <laughs> no. Oh <my> <laughs> to, to us, you just look like a crazy person. <laughs> this is going to a blooper reel. Yeah.